Rick Casellas from ExercisesForInjuries.com. I'm here in Indianapolis, um, out here going to the NCAA March Madness Final Four. And I quickly stopped by and met up with Mike Robertson. And uh, I'll get Mike to kind of introduce himself, but we're kind of meeting to chat a little bit about these. Hi, I'm Mike Robertson, uh, president of Robertson Training Systems, and I'm the uh, co-owner of Indianapolis Fitness and Sports Training uh, here in Indianapolis. And I uh, just met up with uh, my new friend Rick. We're going to uh, talk about knees and uh, some basic things we can do to help get people faced up that are suffering from knee issues. Okay. And I had a blog reader email me and ask me and let me know she's really good at squatting, but when she ends up doing activities like swimming, her knee feels unstable or sloppy. So I'm going to ask Mike, what are some things that she can do to kind of improve the stability of her knee? You know, one of the basic things that you're always looking for, and it's kind of counterintuitive, but a lot of people that have knee issues generally have hip asymmetries or hip imbalances that we're trying to fix up. So a lot of the things that we'll do, we'll start off with some basic isolated uh, hip strength testing, whether it's hip extension, hip abduction, just to get an idea of how their hip stabilizers are working. And then from there, we'll take it to more dynamic or more integrated type test, whether it's a squat, a lunge, a single leg squat, so we can get an idea not only of their hip strength, but how their hips kind of work and jive together with their knees. Because a lot of times you're going to see people that have knee issues, it's not so much the hip that's the problem, or it's not so much the knee that's the problem, as it is the hip and the ability for them to control their hip and therefore control their knee. So that's one of the basic things that I would look at. It gives you a lot of feedback as to what's going on and what kind of issues they may have and need to address in their training. Okay. So thank you very much, Jody, for the question. I hope that ends up helping you out. Well, Mike and I are going to continue chatting about knees. I hope uh, you enjoyed the interview, and we'll see you on the blog very soon. This is Rick Cassell from ExercisesForInjuries.com signing off. And if you are a fitness professional, make sure you swing by the blog and get your $299 fitness education gift. So Rick Cassell saying take care and bye-bye.